Hello everyone, how are you? It is Lori and I'm going to do a reading for the Libra Collective for the next 30 days. What you can expect for the month of May 2024. Okay, so we are going to take a look at what you can expect over the next 30 days. Hope you guys are all happy, healthy, having some fun. I am going to ring the little chimes and bring in some fun energy. And good luck and good fortune. Okay, what I'm going to do is week by week. Okay, so let's lay it out. One, two, three, and four. This is going to be the overall theme for each week. And we will get you outcome cards and so on and so forth. Okay, so we're starting off with the star card on the bottom of the deck. So there is some form of hope for the future, dreams coming true, wishes fulfilled, good things happening down the road for you. All right, so in week one, let me make sure my camera is straight or as straight as I can get it. All right, so week one, what have we got here? Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Sun card. Oh my goodness. You are not going to believe this, but this fits exactly with the daily reading I just did, with, did for you. So, it could be starting as early as today, because uh, today is the reading that I just did for the daily is for Monday, April 29th. So you start off with this energy of feeling trapped, uncertain which way to go, feeling like you don't know what to do, but you focus, you change your focus of attention here in the very first week and find the solution. You figure it out with the three of pentacles. You do have to have some sort of support. You can't do this on your own. Again, we have that ladder, okay, of... of um. I got an analogy in your daily uh, that I'm going to leave right there. If you want to know what that was, then you can look there. However, you find the support, the solution, okay? And look, the clarity, the happiness, the joy that comes from finding that solution is right there for you. So this is beautiful. You've got really good, powerful energy coming through here the first week of May. At first, it's going to be feeling like you're trapped, you're stuck, you don't know what way to turn, you don't know how to figure it out. I, I, again, I'm getting like uh, you don't have a job, okay? And all you're focusing on right now is what you don't have. You find a way to work past that energy of not having and turn it around into, okay, I don't want to focus on what I don't have. I want to find a solution. I want to focus on what I want. So you start changing your attitude just a little bit, okay? Your, not even your attitude, your perspective, how you look at things. And as you do that, either somebody else is going to come in here with a solution or you are, go, you are going to personally come up with a solution to the problem and start working with others. You find the support that you need. So if you're looking for a job, Maybe what happens is instead of saying, I don't have a job, I don't have a job, I don't have a job, all of a sudden you're like, oh, you know what? If I go talk to the labor department, they might have a job. Oh, I'll go check the community board at the college, see if there's any jobs there. Oh, you know what? I'm going to call my friend who is really good at knowing a lot of people, and they might be able to tell me somebody who's looking to hire okay you're thinking outside the box but you're looking for that support that will bring in that inspiration there it is right there so your first week it starts off a little crazy starts off a little difficult for you possibly but you do find a solution you find the resources that you need and everything becomes much brighter you feel so much less stress carefree um Definitely feeling good with that sun energy there. I really like this first week for you. I am going to pull a, a uh, Romance Angels Oracle message to see what's happening in the Department of Love. 
Let's see what you can expect in the Department of Love. So if you're seeking love, this is for you. If you're already in a relationship, this is for you. If you're not seeking love, this is just how love comes to you or how you feel about love right now. Okay, so there is attraction here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So what I'm hearing is this. No matter what the situation is, you are in, um, grateful for what you have. You're in the present moment. You found the solution, and now you're joyful. You're at peace. You feel good. And that attracts exactly the type of energy you're seeking. That's beautiful. Let's go ahead and see what's happening in the Department of Money, Finances, and Career. Okay. This these first three cards for your week are your overall, okay, what it is you're trying to do. Let's see what we've got here specifically for money, uh, hobbies, investments, anything like that. Let's see what we have for you in the first week of May. Eight of Wands. So you're sending out messages. You're seeking, um, you're taking action. But I'm hearing growth expansion you made a decision and you're going to go forward so you're investing you're communicating i'm getting that you're you're talking about money some of you may be trying to figure out how to grow your money you may be speaking to financial advisors you may be checking your portfolios you may be negotiating pay for a new job it's going to be different but this is all about communicating about money Okay, so and taking action on after getting the information that you were discussing. All right, so we have your overall, we have your love energy here, we have your money. I think we're going to move on to week two. Let's see what we've got here for the second week of May. The Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Interesting. Contracts, elevation in status, clear connection to your higher power here. Doing things the old-fashioned way, um, I'm hearing some of you may actually decide to uh, stay away from technology and take a break from like the TV, the phone, um online gaming, whatever it is, you're going to take a step back and start just kind of getting a little bit more grounded, okay? Like you may even just get out in nature again and enjoy some of the finer things in life, which are the creature comforts of just being able to breathe fresh air, feeling confident, feeling grounded. Some of you are going to take your shoes off and walk with your bare feet on the ground for the first time in a long time. Others of you, if you were seeking work here or a new home or a new car and you couldn't find the solution and you do figure this out in the first week, here's the contracts being signed, the commitments being made, okay? You're financially going to be secure here. So if this is about a job, this is really good, okay? You've got the King of Pentacles here with security. There's healing. I am definitely getting healing energy here. Oh, Leo energy again. Love it. Now, the Seven of Wands tells me that this is something you are going to hang on to for quite a while. Okay, it's not like you had to defend yourself. She's got her wand behind her head. She's not using that to um, ward off anything, to keep anyone at bay or anything else. She's confident in, in who she is here. She's not worried about anything. All right, you, you're able to negotiate. I am getting something about negotiations here, that you're confident in your negotiations, that you do get offered like major opportunities. You receive the keys, okay, to a car, to a house, to an office. You actually receive the keys. Um, I do see celebration here with the King of Pentacles, stability, confidence, courage. I see you putting in the effort here to hold on to the success that you've just gained here. Okay, so 
Um, maybe asking yourself, how did I get here? What did I do that created this beautiful energy? And how can I repeat that? So some of you are going to focus on that manifestation power. I love that. So week two looks good. Um, I hear you're settling into whatever it is, like a new car, new home, new job, new relationship. Definitely looking really good in the second week. Let's see what we have here in the form of love. Romantic or friendship or just self-love. What have we got here for you? Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture or just show your love to yourself, to those around you, to your friends, to the thing you love. If this is a passionate um, career move or focusing on a hobby, show that. Your, your energy shows through um, when you express your love fully and freely. All right, let's take a look in the finances, hobby, investments, whatever this is. Money, money, money for week two. What do we have? We have a decision here, a judgment. All right, so again, um, I'm hearing rising above or rising out of the depths of despair. Okay, so you could have been with this Eight of Swords really stressed out about not having it, not having it. You were really in a, 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 an energy of lack, okay? Now, back here, too, in week one, it could have been there was a decision that was out of your hands, a court case. Um, yeah, I, I'm getting if, if you were, if there was a decision outside of your hands, it was a court case, a divorce, a judgment, such as, um, hmm, your car broke down and you were waiting to find out what the insurance company was going to pay pay you for it. Your car was totaled. Your car was wrecked. Something along that line, okay? So here you are. If you were seeking a car, that's why you were seeking it because you didn't have transportation and your insurance company made a decision. This is what we're going to pay you, okay? Could have been um, a divorce, like I said, and you were waiting for the final figures to come through. Whatever it is, the decision is made here in the second week and you're rising out of the depths of whatever was holding you back, whatever you were lacking. You are rising above that. Beautiful. Let's see what's happening in the third week. We have the Four of Cups, the Empress, and the Three of Wands. That is beautiful. All right, so something does start the week off. It could be this judgment. It could be a bit of, um, I just heard irony, which is weird because I was getting an image of you getting the, opening up the letter telling you how much you were going to receive and you were disappointed, but then you looked again and it was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. It, it's a lot better than I thought it was. So it's like a misperception. Maybe you were hoping for a $10,000 um, claim from the insurance company. They're saying, we're going to give you $10,000 on your car. And your car was maybe worth $14,000. But maybe you were hoping that they were going to pay the $14,000 and you got a ten. But then when you look closer or after you talk to them, you also find out that you're cover, you were covered for the rental car that you had during the time that all this happened or some other benefit comes to you, okay? So something at first is not what it appears to be, and it may make you feel a little bit like, uh, I'm not happy with that. No, that's not right. But once you make a phone call or you look closer at the paperwork, you discover a benefit. And it's going to really definitely improve your future outlook. And you do have, remember, the star card on the bottom of the deck here too. Okay, so this is good. Your efforts, whatever, you know, was going on, whatever is happening here, if you're buying a new car, a new job, new relationship, whatever it is, there may be an, a moment, a pause where you're like, something mi is missing here. Something doesn't feel quite right. I'm not, this just isn't what I thought it was going to be. But when you talk about it or you 
um, look deeper into it, you do see how it's going to work out. And that there is a benefit. There's something here. It grows, okay? And it's going to benefit your long-term future, not just the immediate. I did hear something about motherhood here. It could be parenthood overall. I'm not getting much more than that. So somebody might be waiting to find out if they're pregnant or if someone around them, they thought they were and then they think that they're not, but then you find out that you are. It's weird. It's like whatever starts the energy for the week, it's not what it appears to be. Keep that in mind for week three because that's the biggest thing. Whatever you are disappointed in early on in the week, you're going to find out it's not what it appears. It's better. It's good. There's a blessing in disguise. Okay, so it is better for you. It actually helps some of you to see, um, I'm literally hearing, see into the future which tells me like you're tapping into something that gives you a very clear direction to go in, a very clear picture of how to manifest exactly what it is you're looking for. All right, I love this message for you guys. Let's go ahead and see what's happening in the love department here in week three of the month. I will finish this off with some oracle messages. I will roll the letter die too. Um, is there any angel number? Yes, we'll get you an angel number too. Let's see what's happening in the department of romance. Or romance. Love. Okay. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Here it is. You are feeling let down, unhappy, not right with it. But if you take and make that effort to co communicate, get clarity, uh, talk to your person, figure it out, look again, make the effort. It's right there, okay? It's right there. Whatever your situation is, it's going to be worth making that effort, taking those steps, okay? And you are being guided by spirit. Look at the big bird, the big bird, in the, th <laughs> in the three of wands flying over you, okay? Scoping out the bigger picture. You've got divine protection and inspiration here. You will be guided towards taking another look. That's what it's all about, taking another look. Look at this, Eight of Cups. Where you focus your attention is where, what you're going to see. So if you continue to sit there and feel like something's missing, you're unhappy about it, that's all you're going to see. But once you turn it around again, and say, okay, so it's not as bad as I thought it was. Let me go talk to this person. Let me find out more. Let me see what's going on here. Let me get some clarity. All right, that's when you see the growth. That's when you can see your dreams coming true, your wishes um, being fulfilled. Eight of Cups, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So you are this close, is what I'm hearing, to receiving whatever financial... Um, gain you are seeking this could be like <laughs> starting this job you're going through the ne negotiations all of this feels like there's negotiations going on because you have the hierophant here in the second week where you're making those contracts commitments finding out okay i want this i would like to have this medical benefit or i would like to have this much pay or i need this much time off or i need to work at this specific office all of those things are happening and you're this close to receiving all of it so this feels like the closure in the third week of the month feels like the ending of the negotiations but you had to take another look at things uh you know yeah yeah, you thought you were going to negotiate for this, this, and this, and it just isn't what it appears. Make that effort, okay, to find out what's going on, and you will find that abundance that you're seeking. Look at this. Four of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Lovers. So it starts off with success. You achieve your goal. You receive what you want. Happy dance. Happy dance. 
There's stability. There's fun times here. There's harmony. Everybody's on the same page. That's where the beginning of the week is. Okay, last week of the month. And then you got the Knight of Wands, something that you are passionate about. You're ready to take and move on this. You're ready to get started. All right, so this could be, I want my car. I want to take possession of my own vehicle now. I want to get into my new house. I want, I want, I want. This is that passion right here. And it's yours. Your goals are here. They're being seen. You're achieving it. Okay, and look at this. Everything falls into place with the lover's card. Alignment, happiness, feeling good. Okay, this is peaceful. You're all on the same page, definitely. And there are energies of working well with others to bring about exactly what you're wanting. Everybody is on the same page. Love it. By the end of the month, there could be a new romantic person in your life. There could be a new car, new house, new job, new money, new hobby, whatever it is, anything that you've been working on all month. And I do feel like it's going to be off and on throughout the month. But by the last week of May, it's all finalized. Everything just falls into place. The sense of peace, the sense of comfort, of ease, of being right with the world is there. All right, let's see what's happening in the love department. Love meaning any form. Look at that. I knew there was new love coming in here for some of you. A new person will stir your romantic feelings, okay? And again, that definitely, I said it before this card came out, there could be new love here, a new romance. But I'm also feeling you feel right. You feel connected. You feel peaceful within yourself. You're feeling more like yourself instead of being all trapped up in your head. You feel comfortable. You feel the peace, the love, okay? Beautiful message here. What an awesome message this is for you guys. It is 22.22 on the timer as I looked up. That is two, two, two's alignment, okay? That's all fours, two, four and four, okay? Stability, four of wands, love it. Oh my gosh, love, love, love it. And then it, it is eight and eight, okay? So that is all about balance and self. Money, ooh, a surprise. I love it. There will be an awesome surprise here for you in the last week of the month involving money. This is not the tower being struck by lightning. This is you as this dragon taking control of a situation. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I want clarity on that card, please. King of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. New job, leader, uh, entrepreneur, business opportunity coming your way. Look at this. King and Queen of Wands. A collaboration. Some sort of, oh, it, it, it definitely has to do something with work. Um, collaborating. Creating uh, that harmony, that, that lover's energy there. There you are back with that Eight of Swords. You're set free from any fears or worries again. Look at that. Look, just look at this. You have the Eight of Swords and the Sun. In your first week, you have the Eight of Swords and the Sun with the Three of Pentacles between it. I need to see <laughs> where that Three of Pentacles is in this deck. I mean, look at all these cards. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Let's see where that Three of Pentacles is. What's before it and what's after it? Three of Wands, Three of Cups. So those two are together. You got double twos, Two of Cups, and Two of Swords together. Let's see where the Three of Pentacles is. Three of Swords is by itself. Empress after that. 
Where is this? Three of Pentacles. Is it going to be the last card? Right there. Okay, so before it, you were feeling stuck. You couldn't move forward. After it, the Ten of Swords, letting go of anything that was holding you back. Okay, you dealt with it. Did, done, dead. Love it. Queen of Swords, feeling authentic, true, realistic. So I do see a business opportunity, a collaboration, something here that you you may fear, you may worry whether or not it's going to come to fruition. It does. It absolutely does. It works out beautifully for you. Love this reading for you. Wow, you guys are in for a heck of a month. One heck of a month. All right, let's go ahead and get you an oracle mess angel number. We're going to get you an angel number here and a couple of oracle messages. Let's see what we have here for you. What a beautiful month. So what I'm hearing is, is you can expect some like downs, minor downs, a little bit of worry, a little bit of stress. You wouldn't be a Libra if you didn't have some of that energy. But overall, keeping your energy focused on the positive is going to help you negotiate exactly what you're looking for. Remember in the third week, so anywhere after the second week, anywhere in that second week to the third week, you might feel disappointed by a result, um, an offer or something like that. Take another look at it. Talk to the person. Say, am I reading this right? Am I hearing this right? Am I seeing this right? If you put it that way, you're going to find out that it's a blessing. If you happen to be like receive something, like you're negotiating with a new employer and you receive an email or a letter in the mail that says, we're going to give you this and it's not what you were expecting, use caution. Do not call them up or do not blast out an email that says, what the hell are you talking about? We agreed on this. If you approach from that direction, you're not even going to have a job, okay? So approach from, am I reading this right? I need some clarity on this. Can you help me understand this? Or just do another uh, look-see-loo, okay? Take another look at it yourself, and you'll see that what you think is there is not there. All right, so there's something just doesn't, it isn't what it appears to be. All right, let's see what we have. And by the end of the month, everything is did done to head. And it's, it's good way. It's a really good way. Success, four of wands, lovers, new love, tower moment, a surprise, financial. Oh, business. Partnerships, collaborations, definitely in here, Okay. Definitely. New romantic love coming in for some of you by the end of the month. And you know what I hear? If it's because you, you're letting go of all the stress. You're letting go of all the worry. Angel number 1313 starting fresh. Whoop, whoop. Love it. All right. Four and four. Stability. Love it. All right. So there's encouragement here. You have goals. You definitely have some goals. There are foundations in place which would be the Hierophant energy here, doing things the right way, signing contracts, okay? There's also creative ventures coming here for you with the King and Queen of Wands. And this is all about communication, making sure you're talking, making sure you're making the effort to see things clearly, to hear things clearly. Beautiful. Step out of your comfort zone, my loves. Because you are about to create something really meaningful in your life. All of your skills and talents will bring you auspicious profits. Build up your confidence and trust in your decisions. Oh my gosh, that is so important right there. That is so incredibly important. All right, we are going to get you letter die. Let's see what's going to come out here. Paulita, Paulita, Paige, Wapner, Zowie, Sawyer, Wesley, Rowena, Warren, Frown. Oh, maybe that's Fron. F R A U N. 
Fron. I'm hearing something, but I can't understand what's being said. Um, Tucker, Letitia, Kelly, Tim, Tiny, City, Clute, Clive, Livy, Vegan, Veg. These are weird words. Um, Peter. I'm hearing Paulita again. Paulita. Paulita. Um, Tully. TC. Stacy. Stucky. Stephen. Roberta, Rex, Drexler, Felix, Omaha, Axel, Aria, Ian, Carrie, Louie, Louise, Legman, oh, Lagman, Lagman. Largo, hmm. K, like a girl's name, K, Kylie, hmm, somebody's kissing, Vicky, Dave, Deach, <laughs> okay, Dimitri, thank you for giving me a chance to get my tongue around the words, Dimitri, um, I'm hearing Dieter, D-E-T-E-R, like Peter, but the it's a Dieter, um, Chuck, Katie, Caitlin, Jim, Jack, Leaf, Pavlo, Meg, Margaret, Macy, Medici, Missy, Murray, Mike, Black, Rick, and Rosalie, and something feels like it's tickling my arm. So if somebody's playing with your arm or you feel like something's touching you, I just got that's calling you out, okay? All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, make sure that you click that like button, um, tickle tap or zap it. Uh, share the message. Drop me a comment. If you're interested in a personal reading, please email me. My email address is in the description box. Ask for information, and I'll send you everything I have. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.